Hello and welcome friends to 5 Minutes Engineering. We all know that in machine learning, data is very very important element. But now the question arises that how to initially load a data set? What are the ways to load a data? Now these all questions will be answered with the help of this video. And there exist three possible ways by which we can load our data using Pandas library that are going to be discussed in this video. For that we need the help of Jupyter Notebook and we have opened it and now in this particular cell we can see there are three mentioned three ways that are mentioned to load our data using the pandas library out of which two are made comments that we will look into later understand them later but let's first of all explore the first way first method by which we can load the data using pandas library and for that we need to import read csv we need to import read csv that we are going to use to import a data a csv file and we are going to import it from pandas so basically we are here using pandas library and from pandas we are importing read csv here from and import are the two keywords and therefore they are highlighted in green bold letters okay now let's move to the next line which is very important as we are using the read csv method in the round brackets in double quotes we have mentioned the full path where our data set that is iris the csv file resides now this csv file basically this is the iris data set okay and this csv means comma separated value now you would be wondering from where i just pasted this path so it's pretty simple just go to the file as we can see this is our iris.csv file just right click on that and go into the properties you will see location and this location will be copied just copy it after copying it just paste into this round brackets of the read csv method in double quotes and ahead to that just add up the name of the file that is iris.csv rest will be handled by the read underscore csv method which will help us in loading our iris data set now further in programming whenever we want to use or deal with this respective iris data set we have to just use one name now what's that name it's pretty simple this data which is mentioned in the left side to the equal to sign you just have to use this name data as we have used here data dot head what does this head method do it simply returns the first five rows of your data set now what we will do just execute it and for execution we just need to enter shift plus enter use these two keys we can see 0 to 4 that means starting from 0 1 2 3 4 5 the first rows first five rows are written by the head method of what data of the data set iris for which we have used the name data here and we can see all the respective features that are present in this respective data set iris.csv but now one more question arises in my mind that here in this particular way or method to load the data set using pandas library i have mentioned here the full path for that file and here in this particular method I have just mentioned the name of that respective file that is iris.csv. Why is this difference? Why this difference exists? So I will just explain you that. For that I will just make this as comment and make this respective statement active. Okay. Now why this respective difference exists in between the two ways is that a pretty simple reason because what's the location of the file that matters here what is the location of that file where this respective file is present we can see this iris file was present in the desktop means it was out of the home directory it was not in the home directory hence we have to mention this whole path here to load the data set now you would be having one question what do we mean by a home directory as you can see here in the Jupyter notebook whatever the files that I have stored whatever the files that I have been storing here okay these all let's say they are into a home directory and now what's the storage location what's my home directory it is nothing but this admin folder now here we'll just do one thing that is shift this iris.csv file to our home directory that is admin folder where all my Jupyter notebook files are stored and just simply I will run this executed by shift plus enter and we can see whatever the result we are getting there is no difference in the first way and this respective second way we are getting the same output okay now we also can see as as i mentioned i shifted that iris.csv file in my home directory we can see here see this one iris.csv this is now here present but previously it was not there it was in the desktop its location was in the desktop and hence we need to mention the full path 
let's move further and understand the last way by which we can load our data set using the pandas library and for that i will just make this line comment and this respective line active for execution and this in this particular line we have used the same read underscore csv method but in double quotes there is something different that we have mentioned and this is a link that we have mentioned to the data set iris data set okay now here if we just go on to that link we can see this raw data where our various different features are mentioned like sepal length sepal width petal length petal width and variety setos and all those variety are being mentioned here so now we what we need to do is just load this data set here okay and just mention that link in double quotes in the round brackets of the method read underscore csv and when we try to now execute it let's see what we get we are getting an error here we get an error here okay what's that error get add info failed that's what the basic error 11001 we are getting now what could be possibly the reason why we are getting where we have gone wrong here basically there is no problem in syntax here everything is correct as per the syntactical rules but the problem is that the device currently is not connected to the internet so whenever you are using this third way or we can say the link method to load your data set at that time you must be connected to the internet so for that just i will connect it now and now here we can see that uh, we are connected our device is now connected to the yes now it is connected to internet and again we will just execute the same thing and we can see this time it has executed successfully